So this is Baruch Fleischman here, your sub at the Tikkun Elevator Call. I'm trying to learn how to teach this material, and I don't really know what's important to do. I'm trying to understand it myself. It's not something that, you know, I I'm, I just plain know. There's a lot of depths to this. So one of the reasons, or the reason why I don't appear personally, is because it's really the text that's the important part. And I'm trying to teach grammar and vocabulary, and that's part of what I'm trying to do here, is to make it possible for future generations to be able to understand what's going on at the Zohar, because it's a multi-level uh, ecstasy. It's something very, very sweet. And that's why the, the explanation that we have, this book that we're working on, is called the uh, the Matak Medivash, Sweeter Than Honey, because that's what it's dealing with. So let me see if I can get the better focus here, the best focus I can get. And uh, first, so we're given in such a way that I always thought that I want to read from read the Zohar from the beginning to the end, and it doesn't seem like that's in the cards for me. So instead, we'll try to concentrate on what's going on in the Zohar and translating the Zohar and then translating the Pirush here. And it's a short shear, and I'm going to give you the translation, and you could learn from what I say. I make makes makes a mistake because I'm not saying that I'm perfect, uh, or that I really understand, but I'm trying to understand. So this is Parshas Vaera. This is the Zohar on our Parsha. So it turns out that the Zohar, until you get to the Varim at the end, which is a time when I, really people start getting into the Tikkuni Zohar. At that time, it's Elul. Um, until that, everything is following the, the Parshas. So there's a lot of Zohar on the Parsha itself and taking little Pesukim here and there and really uh, darshing them down. I try to follow it. So it says, V'yidabach uh, Elohim, El Moshe, uh, the Elohim, the, that, this is Lushen of Din, El Moshe, V'yomach Olav Ani Havai, he said, but I am the Baal Arachamim, I am Yud Kei Veirel al Abraham v'chav Yitzchak v'el v'el Yaakov by a different name, which we're going to pronounce Bekeil Shakai. That's the name that it was known, which means the God, the old, the old powerful God. So we'll have to understand what what this pasuk has to do with it. Then comes along Rabbi Abba and he says pasuk. He began to quote and he quotes a pasuk from Yeshaya. Pasuk says Bitu Hashem, have trust in Hashem ad ad until. Until, until the until, something like that. Kibiyak Hashem Tzur Olamim, because this is the rest of the Pasuk, because, because Yud K, the name Yud and K, and then the name Yud K Vav K, refers to the rock of the, of the worlds. Uh, when we use the word worlds in Kabbalah, we have to remember that the root of this world is world, is the word hal, uh, is a concept of holoma or hiding things. So the worlds really are hidden from us. We're in a very material place. These worlds are beyond us, are non-material, different ways. So he said, "Biyak Hashem, Sur Olamim of all the hidden worlds, Bituhu Hashem." And then it says, "Have faith in Hashem, or trust in Hashem." Kol bnei alma boyin leistak verbe bekud shabarichu. The whole world. Has to have trust. I'm not sure what stock for a strength. Uh, I, I think a toket means strong or to strengthen themselves. Be in Hashem, bekutcha berichu. Again, he says. Again, he says. Call bnei alma, all of the people of the world. Boyan uh, liyastak v'chabe bekutcha berichu. They need to take their, get a hold of a, a kodesh baruch hu. But they have a rechatz on the lechon bay, and they have all of their trust and all of what they hope for will be on him. So if that's the case, mahu ade ad, then what does it mean until ad? Ella begin the hey took for the bar nash, so that the strength or what that's even the of, of a person of of, of men. Baasa the ihu kiyuba the the kishura the kula in the place. The Ihu Kiyuma, which is the the standing, the uh, support, the standing support, and the Kishura and the the tie, the binding, the Kula that bounds everything together. In other words, there's an inner core of oneness, of unis 
unity i see that in these words but aser the ihu kiyuma the place where it exists or it exercises as support vakushur the kola and that is in other words the foundation rather the bedrock vakushur the kula that ties everything together that oneness vikre ad and that the name of that is called ad vaho ukmoha and now we've kind of explained this he says so this or has been explained Kamada at the Amr and there's a prayer, there's a pasuk he says uh boker yochel ad in the morning you will eat ad that was really sufficient it was really uh, what does ad mean this is really part of what he said what does ad ad mean what does the ad mean and we see this uh all over or in other places now we have a little bit more to go so let's read there's a blurb here now the blurb really should be like a lesson by itself. Let me see if I can get closer to it. And he's going to try to explain this. Now, to explain this, we have to understand that the Zohar has a view, has a view that the world really has a source in, in the Ein Sof Baruch Hu, which means in, in a concept that is beyond our ability to be able to understand because it's nothing. It's not a phys- not physical at all. And there are different stages by which this nothing is closed, it clothes itself and shields itself in order for the pur- purpose of, uh, well, being mashpia tov down into the world in which we live. So this has a form that is the flow of the covering and the flow of the light of the Ein Sof that comes out of the covering is... Uh, really in the form of a man. This is according to the thinking of the Ari. So if you understand this, this is what the Arizal is going to say. But then you have to know all the pieces of the man. There are arms, there's a head, of what we call the Rosh Tok Sof. There's a head, there's a middle part, and then there's a, a, a bottom part. Or we could call, we could call it by, uh, by the name of the energy that's within it, which are called the Mochi. So then you have the mulch into the head and then they spread down throughout the body and they become diffused in different ways and processed. And this is all the light that keeps the whole universe going. Now, it is in the form of a man. That's the way that the, in other words, it it winds up in the form of a man and its energies take the place of Rosh Tok Sof, just like the head, the body, and the lower extremities. This is that just like people are like that, this is a manifestation of the flow of light that is materializing in us. Now, it's it's not an easy uh, uh, comment. Let's let's just see a little. Maybe we could do five minutes more uh, today just to try to get into this idea. He says the Havi Maimer Now, this little thing that we're going to come into now, this Zoe that we're talking about. Not them bekitzim mashikas of a rizal but the kuti Torah he was echad b'pesei the kutim. So in regards to one particular pasuk, is all pasuk bitchu b'Hashem ade ad. So the question is, is what 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 is the the actual meaning of this? So he said this is sharikta alakave. So this kavana, if you want to understand this, that you have to have this have to have. The masha kasa bitchu b'Hashem ade ad. The masha kasa b'zayfer. And this ade ad mean you could see a little bit from uh, this uh, the zohar. In parts of Rebbe, he's still skipping around. The Shanikra Zer Anpen Ad. The Zer Anpen, which is the concept of when we said Rosh Tov Sof, is the concept of the body. The body of the screening of this light. Ad Kama, uh, 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 is that Zer Anpen is called Ad. Kamashakasav Ad Tov's Givos Olam. Until the Endless bounty, which is now he's saying this is their anpin, which is holding all the the bounty of the great flow of the light of eternity uh, down through that. Tavu taus give us olam of the high places of the world. I mean, it's just like a tremendous, tremendous consciousness. But what because what she wants, he said this word taus, which means it was translated in the art scroll as endless bounty, but it means her really her really greatest desire. Lahashbiya Botomid is to constantly be mashpiying to be mashbiyam avima, which is representing of the Rosh. This is that the Rosh, which is the highest point of the light, wants to shine down into the lower lights, and it shines that through Bina. So Hamalchus, Miss Avadahishtabi, the Hishabi, also Malchus. 
That is the, the bottom of the flow. That would be the Yisod, and then Malchus would come after that. Misava the his haver emoshi has a tremendous desire uh, to join herself with him. The lakaba of the shefa b'manu that is vazir anpen and receive that shefa. That's ade ad. Let's see what he said. But shefa b'manu b'zechon v'ad who's there anpen. That is the ad that she's trying to get to. Is there anpen? Who tells all or gives all? And this is the tells the desire, the yearning for the high places of the world, which is the world beyond the one in which we find ourselves standing on. So then he says like this, here's a Pirush, this is the Matak Medivash speaking now. He says, well, this is all the Matak Medivash, but on the side he says, let me explain you what this means. That you should root your trust. What does that mean? meaning that from Ad, try to reach Ad. Ade would try to reach Ad, try to match the lower world with the world that's beyond this one. That's what he's saying, I think. So the thing, thing to have to understand, or which are Yud and K, that yud k is the abba ab. So if if you're not not familiar with this concept, is that the first yud of the name yud k vav k refers to chokma, which is abba, and the second one refers to bina, which is, uh, which is this k also known as ima. Uh, so yud and k though, but that's ref, uh, referring to the to the head, and we see in other places that the head is really that the head of the flow is really separated. From the next part, the, uh, the from the body, and the the point is, and from our world, and the point is to try to bring this yud k into our our world. because inside is a real core of infinity that is a much deeper core, which is the core of all reality as we know it, which is called erik anpin shabo mislava so because inside of erik anpin is clothed the ein sof baruchu. And what it is about the Akodish Baruch, when a person gets to that place, he's that he's 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 able to unite everything. Let me say, Mechaber Hakol, the Neshama the Kol. So it, he is the one united the the uniter of all, and the Pnimi is the inside of all reality. And the main thing that we have to redress our minds too is him that's what it says over here with you avaya so what does that mean that is that's how i pronounce it yud k and yud k vav k those th- those names together he says the yud represents abba the hey is ima that's chokhmah bina al yadam usam through them um, through their their as as mediaries, uh, what we say mediums, tzor olamim that the rock of the universe, tzayra kol olamos kulam that through them all the formation of everything that we see manifest in everything, down to the smallest dot, is a seer a kol olamos. All of them are formed around this. That is the, the the infinity within 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 within. Vaod ba'ofen achar in another way, you could say that yudke vavke, which is another name for Eric Anpen. Well, it is in, at any rate. So shema kodesh. This is the secret. He says that that yudke vavke is the secret of the this holy name, and how through is it that that is because it comes in in other words the, its manifestation it's being able to be m- manifest in our world let's say let's bring it into the world and let's bring it in, bring all of that rahmanas and all of that kindness and truth into the world but this happens as a result of the fact of what's going on in the time the 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 most panimas the most the most intentional what is a real intention which is called Abba Ve'ima, shame this yud and k 
because the mochi that is the energy of the infinite one that passes through these mochi that is of Abba Ve'ima or the name of two mochi it passes into the two olamos called Zohar Vanuk, which is our world and our desire to reach the sun our right to reach beyond the planets all right to reach the origin of life itself so according to this then it comes out that if a person has kavana for zir anpen avad that's 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 enough I'm not sure what that meant because in other words, if you're able to look beyond the physical world in which you live, which is lacking everything that is needed for for the beautiful life that we all want. Those things that you're lacking and you're seeking for a spiritual answer to that, to bring you closer, that itself will automatically open up the doors, he says, to worlds that are much higher than that, because it's all connected. So what we're saying is that we need to learn to reconnect. That if you could just get the idea of connecting to the spiritual world that is beyond ours, which is called Zer Anpen, which is the meters of Chesed, Kivura, Teferis, Netzach, Hod, and then finally Yisod, that we could somehow connect to that Yisod. This will open up the world for all of the worlds beyond that, to Abba Ve'ima, to the real consciousness of Hashem that we all speak, seek. Kish Hashem, there in that place, Nimsa Erik Anpen, which is the core of the breath of life that we have, so to speak, for Abba Ve'ima Mislavshim Zer Bezen, then Abba Ve'ima, that is Yud and K, are really united, completely united, one inside the next. And then they too, Zer Tok Zer Anpin, and they are inside of Zer Anpin. So in other words, you reach beyond this world and try to make that connection. This is Baruch Fleischman, your sub here at the Dikunella Viticola. We went a little bit long on there, but I was really thinking about this, and it seems like a very beautiful, beautiful. Thank you for listening.